closed the entire streets. Somebody's cat. We're actually not allowed to be filming over here. What's the story of the dog? Everything's in Japanese out here, boy. He's Indian. <laughs> Let me show you guys something cool. This is what I battle every day. I let you right away. <laughs> like, just baby. Why is that guy dancing behind you? Just walked out in the streets of uh, Tokyo and everyone's taking a picture over here. And look what they're taking a picture of. I don't know what's going on. Some like super famous cat or something. Even the cat's confused, like what the hell's going on? Yeah, so if you want to go viral, just put a cat on a sign in front of your store and that's it. People going insane over this cat. It's like sunbathing this cat. It's basically called Ginza and like they've closed the entire streets so everyone can walk down the street which is a pretty cool idea. I think you should do this in Dubai in the city walk is you close the street like once a week and let everyone just walk down. See behind me everyone's walking. We're walking on the street right now look. the cat by the way <coughs> somebody's cat Where is it? took it away what were you filming now? the guy it was his cat which guy the guy with a cat on his back that's the cat from the sign I can't see the guy with a cat on his back because he's gone Actually not allowed to be filming over here, but I'm acting like I'm taking. Can you put your hand like she's acting like she's? Uh... <laughs> mm, they said be careful when you eat this because you might become small after you eat it. All right, Alice in Wonderland food: omelet, mushroom. What are you eating? Spaghetti. Spaghetti and shrimp. <laughs> and a teacup. <laughs> For the finale. Cheat day today. What's the story of the dog? Huh? What's the story? It's basically this dog that had an owner that would always go to the university in the train station and then the dog would go with the owner every day and then one day the owner died and the university never came out and the dog stayed at the train station until it died and it was so loyal. And they made a statue like in the remembrance of the dog. <laughs>
Shibuya exit. Basically, uh, Shibuya crossing, Tokyo. The only place where everyone crossed the road is that's right behind me over here, but all around super nice too. It's kind of like Times Square, but Tokyo version. I'm trying to get a good shot. Everyone's walking really fast, uh, and I'm trying to see if I get up and get a better shot. I need to get up to one of the buildings or something. And it's pretty crazy how many people will cross this uh, Shibuya crossing like, every time the lights go green. It's not like one road at a time, like all the roads stop and then everyone crosses. You can go diagonal, you can go left, right, everywhere. Let's cross and I'll show you. So we just linked up with uh, two of Dania's friends. They are from Japan. They live here in Tokyo and they're taking us out to get some food to eat. I think we're eating shabu shabu, which is a Japanese dish, or sushi. I'm not sure. It's supposed to be a super cool restaurant. I want to tell you the name, but everything's in Japanese out here, boy. So what's the iPad for? So from now on, we order using this. Uh, yeah. So you just, you just pick with what you want more of, and then they'll bring it over to you. Yeah. So only the first order they do, like the, the person comes from. Uh, so advanced in Japan, I swear. <laughs> but they still make you cook your own food. Yeah. <laughs> So Sean, Brazil, you guys gonna explain all this food stuff because uh, Dania does not know how to cook, <laughs> and I'm on camera duty. All right, so once this starts boiling up, you're gonna grab this beef or this chicken right here, and then you're just gonna drop it in. And it's called shabu shabu because the action of just like the swish swish is in Japan is shabu shabu. So that's why this is called shabu shabu. So once it's done cooking there. Then for this one, you just go right ahead. For this one, it's called sukiyaki, which is another type of uh, dish in Japan, where you mix up the egg, and so from here you dip the egg. And then you eat it. So we don't cook the egg. We don't cook the egg. Yeah. Raw egg. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. <laughs> I can do it. Yeah. Yeah, if not, if not, it's not. You're trying to make this feel at home? <laughs> so where do we put it in here? No, 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 no. You just, you just eat, it eat it with the rice. Oh, really? Yeah. And then with the chicken. What do you want us to do? Sit on the floor and eat with our hands? Indian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember Dania told a story about the dog? Just a double check, they're discussing right now. See, they're about to tell us their version of the story, so let's see if Danya was right. All right, so what's the dog story? Tell us. Okay, so a long time ago, there was a professor at a university, and he had a dog. So far, so good. So far, so good. <laughs> the dog always went with his owner, this professor, to Shibuya Station, while when he went to work. 
and then the dog would just wait for him there until he came back, and when the master came back, they'd go back home. So far, so good. <laughs> All right. And then one day, while the professor was at work, he had a heart attack or something, and he could not come back. And uh, the dog continued to wait for him. And then the professor died. So he took the dog away, but the dog would always find a way to escape and go back to the station to wait for his master. Oh. All right. So the dog didn't wait there until it died. Oh, no, no. But then eventually the dog died. The dog died. But she said that the dog waited there until it just like couldn't take it anymore and just died. That might be. And she, said, and she said they put cement on the dog to... No, I didn't. <laughs> Fun fact, that's the second statue of the dog. Oh, really? Oh, why? Right. The original one was melted down because we are in, in World War II. We needed bullets. Oh, really? Yeah, so that is version two. <laughs> Food is good. So this is Shabu Shabu. They explain it to us. It means like when you... Swipe, swipe. Swipe, swipe. When you do that whole swipe, swipe thing, that's what Shabu Shabu. shabu. Really good. We tried in Dubai, it wasn't this good, but over here, obviously, it was really good. <laughs> Let me show you guys something cool, what? I'm using this like everywhere I go, just pointing it at stuff and like, and look, it's like the same color, same font. Please is only men, it is not possible. <laughs> and they want like color, color, contacts and everything. They want to look foreign. That's, that's why all these, uh, these photos, they edit your eyes to look bigger. All oh, right, right. want the Asian look. Oh, that's why you have the big eyes. We want the opposite. I want to look Japanese. Are we going to see your pictures on the screen? So basically in this place is like just a whole bunch of photo booths where you go in there and it makes them look different. So skin gets wider, eyes get bigger, colored. Apparently it's a big thing in Japan. We're gonna go do it. I don't know what's gonna do to my eyes, but I'm trying to be a team player over here. Damn, you saw that green screen just drop? <laughs> Just getting some more edits done on the pictures, and I thought, wow, we have this great lighting because look, they have some lighting there up at the bottom, so really good lighting. So I thought I'd talk to you guys and tell you about how's going so far in Japan. Man, this place is a real special place. People are so polite. The food is really good, and they got some great concepts. I love it. Just being here for the first time, and most important thing is that it's so safe, so you can walk around everywhere. You know, I've got the vlogging camera with me, and I'm walking around with the camera. And I don't really feel like. Uncomfortable. Actually, a lot of people are carrying cameras, which makes it a lot easier. But yeah, I love it. Japan is dope. I don't want to say all of Japan. Tokyo so far, really, really, really good. I'm loving it. Now let's go see what these pictures look like. Damn, they really got you, huh? Got me. Got you. This is me. This is an Arabic. You can put them on anything. <laughs> like, just baby. <laughs> Why is that guy dancing behind you? It's just Tokyo. Yeah? <laughs> just, there is no experience. <laughs> so, photo booths, shabu shabu, and dancing. That's and cats. And cats. <laughs> Happy now? Look at you and Sean. 